everyone, my name is Catherine if you are new here and I've been working with people suffering from kidney disease for almost a decade now. Today we are going to see the number one best and most powerful good habit to lower your creatinine levels and improve your kidney function. Yes! There is something I personally do every day. It's a good habit everyone should embark on because it is something that can change your life in a matter of weeks, maybe days. And there is also an app for that. Now, if you follow me here regularly, you may already know that I talk about a lot of different remedies that can help with kidney problems. That's kind of my job here. If there's something new in the field of nephrology and it can help you getting better, I want you to know how to benefit from it. Science has made incredible steps forward in the last few years. Let's just think about berberine, the magic pill that makes you lose weight and lowers blood sugar levels or cordyceps, an ancient remedy that's been now proven able to lower creatinine levels in CKD stage 4. Not to mention Forexiga, a prescription that's now proven to make patients retain their kidney function for much longer. Yes. There are many things that can help you, but you need to know how to use them to lower ER creatinine levels. And it's crucial, in my opinion, that you know about this because many doctors still believe in the old mantra of treating kidney disease with dialysis only. So they won't help you. Now, it can happen that people get confused by the sheer amount of new things. Avoiding this is what today's video is all about. So today I want to answer a very important question one of you guys asked me in comment section. Hi Catherine, almost every day you give your audience a new or different food supplements for their kidneys. Do you want them to take all those food supplements or vitamins? Thank you Fernando for this question. No. You are not going to need all the foods and remedies, but you may want to find out which one of them will really help you. There is a good habit that will give you all the info you need to do exactly that. This is very important. Just because something is known for providing certain benefits doesn't necessarily mean it will do the same for you. You are unique and it's essential to be patient and flexible when embarking on a journey to a better kidney health. And obviously, it won't be safe to just include everything at once in your diet. You don't need to do that. Remember that the journey to a better kidney health is a march, not a sprint. You need to find what works for you on the long term. To do this, you need to start the most powerful good habit in the world. You need to use a personal health journal. This is what I like to use as my personal health journal. It's a very simple spreadsheet I use to keep track of my diet, labs, and my workouts. And there is a reason why this is the most powerful good habit in existence. It can effectively decrease your need for medications. And this is way more important than people realize. It's recent news that a very common blood pressure pill can cause kidney damage. I've shown you which one and who should avoid it in my video up here. And almost every single blood pressure medication can mess up your potassium levels. And cholesterol pills can make you feel tired and achy like you just ran a marathon. So it's clear that any medication you can avoid taking with the consent of your doctor is a huge step forward to a better kidney health. So. Use this to gradually introduce the natural remedies and lifestyle advice I show you in my videos to lower your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and your blood sugar levels naturally. They don't have the side effects medications have. So, my advice here is to download and print the Excel spreadsheet I personally use and to use it at your own advantage. Because for example, the combined benefits of garlic and hibiscus tea are impressive when it comes to lowering your blood pressure. If you can leverage them to lower your need for medications, the results will be really incredible.
To do this, you should take your blood pressure and blood sugar levels regularly and write down if the levels are changing. This is the only way to see immediately what's working. It will also give your doctor the info they need to lower your medications if appropriate. And yes, that's how you lower your creatinine levels. And obviously, a health diary will also make it a lot easier to stay on track. Writing things down provides a layer of accountability and a reason to keep up doing things right. For example, if you want to eat less sugar, you may find it a lot easier to achieve this goal when you write down what you eat. I use this method too, and it's really helping me. I use it for my workouts, for example, and I keep a stack of these sheets in my home gym. If one day I don't want to exercise, I have to write it down why I didn't exercise that day. And a health journal will also help you notice patterns. If you occasionally get weird symptoms or maybe you have trouble sleeping or other issues, you will know what's causing them. This is extremely important when introducing a new remedy or medication. Not to mention that the health journal will also help communicating with your doctor because now you have a detailed record from a medical standpoint. And guys, my spreadsheet is 100% free and you can download it and print it even right now or you can save it in your phone and use it from there with Excel or another spreadsheet editor. And there is also an app that can help you do the same. Actually, there are two apps. I've tested and researched various health tracking apps. Nutritionix, MyFitnessPal, Chronometer, Lucid, and more. They all do a similar job. They all let you track with sufficient approximation your macronutrients, your blood pressure, your blood sugar, and more. The two I can recommend you to try are MyFitnessPal and Chronometer. Just be careful because they are freemium. Not all the future are free, even if most of them are. The way they work is very easy. You can input any food you want as breakfast, lunch, dinner, and so on. And the app will tell you exactly how much protein, but also phosphorus, potassium, sodium, etc. you'll be getting. And this is great to track your diet. But you can also use them as a diary, even in combination with my spreadsheet. Now guys, it's now time to put the health journal to good use. This is one of the healthiest fruits in the world to help you lower your creatinine levels. In my video up here, I've shared the perfect recipe to turn it into a good habit you can write down in your health journal. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.